hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add an animator to our zombie so as you know we have different animation for the zombie for example we have the running crawl let's drag and drop the model inside this animation okay i think if we go inside the model we can use the model Okay, I don't know why it doesn't show the model, but okay, let's just add this directly to our zombie. So we have the zombie animations. Let's actually create a different animations folder for this zombie. Let's try and drop that in there. And then in here we can create an animator controller for the zombie one. Okay, let's click on the zombie one. Let's add the animator. And let's get back to the normal mode and I think the reason it was not showing the model on the animation is we were in the debug mode okay we have the avatar right here so just try and drop the avatar on the animator now let's check out the animation okay we have different animations right here Let's open up the zombie one animator right here, and we have the entry there, and in state up there, and exact up there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let me do this. Okay, first of all, let's add our parameters. The first one will be of type bool by the name of walking. Let's add another one which will be running. And then let's add another one which will be attacking. And then the next bool will be tied. Now let's click on this. Let's first of all add the walking animation. Let's name this as walking or walk, whatever you want to call it. So, walking, then we need the run animation. So, let's just name this as running. Then we need the attack. Okay, and let's add this zombie attack. Name it attacking, and then we need the die. So, Right here we have the zombie die and the zombie death. Let's actually make this the default layer and see how does it looks on the zombie. Okay, like this. It looks like that. Let's actually add now the dying let's make this the default and see okay we need the time okay so let's add the dying and let's name this as tied and guys these are just the animation name you can name this whatever you want okay but and uh, if you are using different parameters then you can name this parameters whatever you want but if you are following me then you may make sure that you type the parameters name exactly as mine okay now we have the running we have the attack and then we have the tie right here let me assign it now create a transition from walking to running and from running to walking right here remove that and set the walking pulse and running true okay and now actually we can try and drop the zombie in here and you can see the zombie will walk like this and when he see the players he will run towards the player okay and we need to make this animation in place as well but let's just first add the transition then we will do that now select the transition from the running to walking 
and right here we will do the vice versa as we did for this transition we will make the running false this time okay now make a transition from running to attack and from attacking to running and as you can see this will be the transition so remove the heavy react time and right here make the attacking true walking false and running false as well and in this transition do the opposite of it make the attacking false and walking false as well and we are going to be running so make the running true okay and after this make a transition to this die and right here we will simply set the die to true and from running to die make the die to true and from walking to die as well make the die to true okay so we will be walking like that and then we will die like that okay now double click on this running okay this is the animation set this to loop time and loop pose okay now select the attacking one set this to loop time and loop pose and leave the die as it is okay now if we click on this transition you will notice that now the transition is in place as you can see let's check this transition as you can see he will be walking and then he will suddenly start running and then this is the tie actually make the walking as well loop time and loop pose as well now if we check it out okay it is now working correctly okay so make sure that you make all these three animations as loop time and loop pose so now we have the parameters we have the animations let's quickly add this by the script so here is the zombie here is the zombie script we have the animator let's open up this script after this zombie attacking variables create a header by the name of zombie animation and in here we need a reference to the zombie animator so we will simply say public animator and we will name it as anim or whatever you want to call it then let's start adding the animation in the pursue player we will say that if we are pursuing the player then what we want to do we want to play the animations and the first animation will be to make the walking force because when you pursue the player then you want to uh, apply the running animation so we will say animate or set pool walking and we will set that to false we will only set the running to true and guys these are the parameters okay these parameters walking running attacking and die not this animation name after this what we will do we will make the attacking false as well and the die false as well and in the else block if we are not chasing the player or we can say pursuing the player then what we want to do we want to do the opposite of what we did up there so actually we can copy that paste it down below make the running false and make the type true okay right here just make the type true after this let's get down to the attack function and right here when we are attacking the player in here we will set the attacking to true walking to false running to false as well and die to false as well and after this let's add the die animation so right here if the health becomes zero and before calling the zombie die we want to play the animations so right here what we will do we will simply set the walking false attacking false running false we will just set the die to true you can actually 
copy that from there and paste it down below because that two are the same now with or animation added okay let's save it get back to unity now we need to assign the animator there that's it let's click on the scene let me actually play the game on full screen let's play it and now you will notice that the zombie is playing the animation but the zombie speed is far more greater than the animation walking speed okay so for that what we will do let's make the zombie walking speed as 0 0.01 okay and the zombie running speed is right here in the nav mesh agent which is by the name of speed and the speed will be 3.5 so when the zombie run towards us then the speed will be 3.5 but when he is walking in the walk points this will be the zombie speed let's save it play it again and now you will notice that it will work correctly okay as you can see now the zombie is walking but as you can see the zombie speed is less so that's why reaching the first walk point is difficult from him so in this case what we can do is to actually click on this first walk point oops okay here is the first walk point let's make this walk point somewhere right there and then test it or actually guys let's just uh, leave this walk point right here and let me actually decrease this other walk point as well for example to there okay and the reason I think our player is not moving is because of the zombie speed okay so just make the zombie speed as 0 0.1 and your speed can be different uh, according to your zombie animation so as you notice this zombie walks really slow so that's why this 0 0.2 will be accurate for this zombie okay so just make the zombie speed as according to your game and animation okay it has nothing to do with the work points let's now play the game and i hope this time the zombie will run towards the work point you will notice it as you can see now the according to an, the animation the zombie speed is accurate now as you can see the zombie is walking and when we come in the radius as you can see now the zombie is running towards us and now the zombie can attack us as you can see as you can see it shows attacking the let's run away from the zombie as you can see now the zombie is following us let's get the gun and see the die animation okay we have the gun right here okay zombie is coming inside the house let this kill him he's really fast let's kill him okay as you noticed the zombie is now dead and he, his body has been removed so in this way you can add zombie and different animations to your game with this done in the next video we will add different type of zombie which will be standing in one place and when we come in the running uh, radius he will run towards us and attack us so we will do that in the next video catch you guys in the next one